This video will show you how to find scholarly articles using the library search engines and databases. We'll start at the library website, library.edgewood.edu. Remember, you can get help from a librarian using our Ask a Librarian links, which are on most pages of our site. From the library website, click Research Guides at the top. Under Find Research Guides by Subject, we'll click Business, and then choose the guide for Masters in Organizational Leadership. We'll start our search using the combined search engine OneSearch, which searches most of our databases at once. Let's say that we're looking for scholarly articles about mindfulness and adult learning. I'll enter those terms in the search box and click search. Since we need scholarly sources, on the left, under Limit 2, I'll check the box marked Scholarly or Peer Reviewed. If you have a date restriction on articles you need, you could also adjust the date range here. This second article looks pretty decent. I'll click the title to get more information about it. At the page for this record, you can see the article title, the author, and the journal where the article was published. Next, you'll see subject terms assigned to the article. These can be very useful in finding additional articles on your topic. This article has the subject adult learning, which we did search for, but it also has the terms adult education and reflective learning. This illustrates a good strategy to use if you're having trouble finding decent articles on your topic. If you can find at least one article that looks good, Use the terms from that article to try a new search. Below that is the abstract. In the upper left is a link to the full text of this article. On the right is a tools menu. Since this article seems like a good one for my topic, I'm going to add it to a temporary folder. There are also links here to print, email, and other tools. Permalink will give you a permanent link to this article. Unlike regular websites, if you want to save the link to an article in a library database, you cannot use the link displayed in the browser at the top. It will not work at a later time. The permalink gives you a link that will work anytime, whether you are on or off campus. Other databases may call this a document URL or a document link. Let's go back to the search results and see if there are any other articles we're interested in. Number five looks like it might be decent. I'll add that to the temporary folder, but most of these other sources don't seem to touch on my topic very well. Let's see if we can improve our search results by using the term adult education, which we found in that first article, instead of adult learning. You'll notice that OneSearch remembered our scholarly limit. Browsing through these results, you'll see our focus still isn't quite what we want. For example, the second article is about cancer patients and caregivers, but it picked up the words education and adult from other separate subject terms. To get better results, let's edit our search again, and this time I'm going to put adult education in quotes so the database looks for that as a phrase rather than individual words. You can see we got a lot less results, but they do seem to have a better focus on the topic we're interested in. As I look through them, I'm going to add some of the ones I find interesting to my temporary folder. This is a good search strategy, especially for complex topics. Try a few searches, add articles to the folder, revise your search using subject terms you found, and add additional relevant articles. After you've added articles you want to the folder, click the folder links to review what you have in your folder and you can print or save the best articles you found. It's important to note that this folder is only temporary unless you are signed in with a free account. You can see that all of the articles I saved here do have the full text available. 
When you first start using OneSearch, it will only show you articles where that full text is there. Back at the search results, if you want to expand your search to show articles that don't have full text access, which you can then request, just uncheck the Available via Edgewood limit. Articles that do not have the full text will have a Request Item via Oscar Express link. Oscar Express is our interlibrary loan service. If you click that link, it will automatically fill out a request form for you. You will have to sign in if you're not already. Complete the rest of the form and we will send you an email when your article is ready for download. You can find out more about Oscar Express and check the status of your request by clicking the Oscar Express link in the footer on all of our web pages. Let's go back to the Organizational Leadership Research Guide and look at a different database. So from the library website, I'll click Research Guides, Business, Masters in Organizational Leadership, and this time I'll choose the Psychology Database, PsychInfo. While the results from PsychInfo do show up in OneSearch, using an individual database like PsychInfo allows you to use search options and limits that are only available in that database. I'll try the same mindfulness and adult learning search here. Since we need scholarly sources, I'll check that limit. As I mentioned, we can also limit our search in other ways. For example, we might need to find articles based on a specific methodology, like case studies or empirical studies. We might also want to focus on a specific age group, like maybe adults in their 30s. After I click Search, you can see that since both PsycInfo and OneSearch are from EBSCO, they have the same interface. While other databases the library subscribes to might look a little different, they all should have the same basic features and work in a similar way. It's important to note, since OneSearch combines many databases, the subject terms are not always consistent across disciplines. When using individual databases, that same tip about scanning the article subjects to find additional search terms applies here as well. Many subject-specific databases also have a subject thesaurus, which can help you find other search terms to try. If I try the PsycInfo thesaurus and search for mindfulness, it will point me to related terms, like awareness or meditation, that could also be useful. Don't forget, if you have any questions about your research, the library is here to help. Just click the Ask a Librarian link from most of our web pages.